Hey there, I'm Elizabeth with Edible Effects. Do you remember that scene in Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom, where that guy had those snakes and he was like, ah, I'm gonna make you an edible version of it. In Indiana Jones, the actual take, if you really look at it, go back and look at it again, the scene is just, what, two seconds? So he doesn't actually eat it. And in their instance, they probably used silicone, used a mold and molded some sort of snake or, or fake eel or whatever to create it. I'm actually gonna eat mine. Now, I'm not making an exact replica of what was used in the film, I'm gonna kind of do my own take on it. I looked at the size that he had in his hand. I actually found a stick and thought, man, this is so gnarly, just the shape of it and how the end has kind of like a little mouth, head. So I thought, you know what? This is a good length if I was holding it or holding it. I think it's a good length. Now, any Silicone that I make is food grade silicone. But any mold that I have to, that I put in my food grade, I have to make sure that it is safe to set with the silicone. Now, when I say that, I say that because like a tree branch, it sheds. It's got things on it, it's got things in the groove, things that come off in the silicone. Now what I did for this to make sure it's completely sealed is I took sandpaper and sanded it smooth and then I baked it at 170 for like four to five hours. Now silicone's not cheap and you'll find that out when you go to buy it and you're like, I'm sorry, what did you say? So when I have this stick, I want something that is as close to this size so I can save on silicone. So I picked a container, and this is, you can tell it's the shape of a spray bottle container. So I took my spray bottle and I put my stick inside of it. I'm gonna take my silicone and I'm gonna pour it in the bottle around and fill it all the way up. When you pour your silicone in here, the first thing it's gonna wanna do is it's gonna keep pushing this stick like this. So if you set it and you go, okay, I can go, don't go. So you're gonna have to sit here or rig it to hold that stick and make sure it doesn't move. Put it in a place, don't bother it, let it sit overnight to where it'll get nice and hard and solid. So now that you have your stick in your mold, how do you get it out? Well, what you have to do is you've gotta get scissors. So you're gonna cut the plastic bottle. That's why you don't use glass because you'd have to break the glass. So you wanna use a very flexible plastic that I can get in with scissors and cut it out, open it up, and then boom, I have the exact mold of the squirt bottle. So now your stick is in here, you're ready to go. Again, I got it out of here, but how do I get it out of there? What you have to do is you've got to cut it in half. So now that I go ahead and cut it in half, I now have my mold ready to go to now put product in. You'll never forget to use this product if you are one, but when you work with silicone and molds, you need stoner rocket release. Your rocket release is used. When I come in and spray the inside of my mold, it makes sure that my product is not stuck. Right when I shut my mold, it's only going to stay together by using rubber bands. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna put my rubber bands. When you put your rubber bands, you have to remember, you've gotta create a strength to seal this all the way. So I'm gonna put rubber bands here, 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 and here. I wanted this recipe to be simple and taste really good. So, I used jello and gelatin. Now, gelatin is ground up pig bones, and if you don't want to do that, you can use agar agar, which is a vegetarian. Now, we're creating a black or really dark kind of 
snake look. If you mix red and purple, you get black. I have my purple food coloring, and then I have black food coloring. I will show you that I will not use all black food coloring because it tends to stain. When you make this, right, Jell-O is going to tell you whether there's a small or large size, it's equal. So it's one cup boiling water to one cup cold water. So what I did was I followed the one cup boiling water and I boiled it and then I put my Jell-O into my boiling water and stirred and then asked for an equal amount cold water. I took that equal amount and I cut it in half because I need a thick product. So instead of putting the full amount, I'll put the half amount. But what I'll do is I'll put four packets of gelatin into say a half a cup of cold water, really cold water. Once that blooms over here, and I put it into the boiling water, but it's not boiling anymore. I've taken it completely off the heat. And once it gets to that perfect where I'm like, it's perfect, it's not too cold. Then I take it and I pour it into my center. Once you've poured it, I check my seams. Everything's okay. I lift it up. I make sure there's no leakage whatsoever. I'm gonna take my mold with my mixture and I'm gonna put it in the fridge. And you only need maybe 15, 20 minutes. It's so thin, it is gonna set faster. So we're gonna go put in the fridge and then I'm gonna show you when it's done. So it looks like everything's set in our mold. Check on the top, it looks pretty solid. So I come in and I open my mold up. And here is Le Edible Stick. So I come in and I open my mold up like this. I always do this. It helps unstick what's ever there. And again, I'm not gonna pull it out. I don't wanna break anything. There you go. Bam. So this is a mold. So when you have everything ready and you have your snakes and everything done, you want them to look a little bit slimier or wetter. There's two different options that I do for this one. One is just a simple olive oil. Another one is you can use agave or honey. The actor is gonna determine what you're gonna use, but they're options. So today, I'm gonna use just basic olive oil. And I'll roll them. All right. I'm gonna come in. So this is how I would create the Temple of Doom look with the snakes. I'm Elizabeth Grove, and this is Edible Effects. If there's something that you think is way cool and you wanna show me, drop a comment below. If you have any questions, let me know below and I'll try to get back to you.